When you take a prescription for a typical medication to your local pharmacist, he usually has two options. He can fill the prescription with the brand name drug, or he can substitute the brand name with a lower cost generic. Often the pharmacist will provide the generic because it saves money and the patient usually experiences no difference in the drug's effects. But a new class of medications requires us to reconsider the way we think about substituting one drug for another. It also requires many states to revise their pharmacy laws. Biologics are an entirely different class of medications and are made from a biologic source, such as tissue or living cells. Physicians call them game-changing drugs because they provide relief for conditions where patients previously had few options. Now the FDA has begun to approve follow-on biologics known as biosimilars. Biosimilars will give patients more treatment options and they may also cost less. But biosimilars are not the same as generics of a traditional drug. Biologics cannot be duplicated as exact copies like generics because no two biologics are manufactured exactly the same. Slight variations will exist between biologics and their biosimilars. So can your pharmacist substitute a biosimilar for the biologic your doctor prescribed the same way he does for typical generics? In some states, the answer could be yes. If your physician writes dispense as written on his prescription pad, you should only receive the biologic prescribed, not the biosimilar. This way, patients who are doing well on their current biologic don't have to risk switching treatments. And the physicians know for certain which medications their patients received at the pharmacy. But writing dispense as written is not the only precaution needed. In fact, limiting physicians to this tool could actually discourage biosimilar use. Physicians might require the brand name biologic, not because their patient actually needs that specific drug, but because they just want to know for sure which medicine their patient is taking. That's why communication between pharmacist and physicians is so important. With a simple email or a brief phone call, pharmacists can let physicians know that their patient has received the biosimilar instead of the prescribed biologic. That simple step allows physicians to monitor patients' progress. If the patient reacts adversely to the medicine or has an immune reaction, the physician knows for certain which drug caused the problem. He can then make a change if necessary. With communication provisions in place, physicians can have confidence they know which biologic medicine their patient is taking, and biosimilars can be more widely adopted. You can enjoy the value of breakthrough drugs and the option for lower cost and a physician with accurate data can continue to direct you towards the best course of treatment.